Hey SFC, I'm Frank Stanfield. And I'm Aaron Maldonado. Welcome to another edition of Terrier Nation. This week we will be talking about how the men's and women's basketball team did, and we will be checking in with the water polo team as they compete in the Final Four. The men's basketball team took on Norfolk State University this past Thursday, losing by a score of 85-79. to Jalen Cannon led the team with 16 points. Also adding for the Terriers was Akeem Johnson with 15 and Ben Mockford with 13. The Terriers now fall 2-3 and three on the season. Our very own Kay Watkins chatted with assistant coach Clive Bentick about the game. Thanks, Aaron. This past Thursday, the men lost to Norfolk State University 85-79. to I'm here with assistant coach Clive Bentick to talk about the game. You guys blew a big lead. Can you talk to us about what happened? Well, it was simple. We played no defense in the second half. Norfolk State shot 69% um, in the second half. That means we didn't play any defense. Um, that's, the, that's basically what happened in the game. Okay. And one bright spot this season for the team has been Jalen Cannon. Can you talk to us about his play thus far? Well, Jalen had a very good freshman year, and he just built in it um, second half of the year. He's more aggressive this year. Um, we know he's going to rebound, but we still try to tell him to get 20 rebounds a game. But I just think that hard work over the summer, he worked hard over the summer, and he, it's just paying off for him right now. And your guys' next game is at University of Albany. What do you guys have to do to bounce back and win it? Uh, we have to play defense. That's the that's that's the bottom line. And this week, leading up into that game, I think we we're, we're gonna just practice defense because that's what cost us the Norfolk State game. And Albany is a pretty good team, and is they're different from Norfolk State with their guards being the leading scorers of the team. So our guards have to defend, but we have to do a better job as guarding as a team because at the end of the day, it's team defense. No matter what guys try to say, oh, I stop my man. No, team defense win games. Okay, thank you, and good luck to you guys on the road. All right, thank you. Back to you, Frank. The men's next game will be on December 5th at the University of Albany. As for the women, this past week they lost to Cornell University by the final score of 74 to 56. The leading scorers in the game were Sarah Benedetti with 12 points and Jessica Kaufman with 10 points. They are now 2-2 two and two on the season. Gregory Alcala had a chance to speak with Sarah Benedetti after the game. Thanks, guys. This is Gregory Alcala here, and I'm here with Sarah Benedetti. Sophomore forward, following a tough loss to Cornell, just to ask her how she feels about the loss. Now, Sarah, you guys started off well in the first half. What happened in the second? You know, we kind of just lost focus, and they started hitting shots, and we didn't really regain our composure, and I think that's what really killed us. All right, now following this game, what do you think your team can improve on for the next game? You know, we just got to pick our heads up. We got to make sure that we come out with a lot of energy next game, and you got to completely erase this game and just focus on the next one. And what, like, how do you guys stay motivated after tough losses like this? Like I said, you just kind of have to roll it off. I mean, it's just one game out of a long season. And at the end of the day, it's a whole bunch of games. So each day, you just got to give your best. All right, there you have it. That was sophomore forward Sarah Bendetti on Gurga Call of Terrier Nation. Back to you guys. The men's water polo team will begin their highly awaited Final Four run this weekend as they take on UCLA at the number two seed. This will be their second appearance in three years. Sophomore David Lonberg of the men's water polo team received the Elite 89 award. Lonberg received this award due to his high GPA while competing at the national championship level. It's amazing. It's been a very long road from August to this. We, I think we deserve it. We worked hard. It's a strong program. It's going to be tough, but I think we, we have worked hard and we're going to be very ready for this and we're going to go hard. Uh, I said it many times before. It's one of the best feelings you can ever have as an athlete to make it to the Final Four because it's uh, four best teams left in the country, and we're one of them. Well, Frank, hopefully they can be successful this weekend. We're all rooting for them to bring back that title. Stay tuned to the Terrier Sports Network for updates on the men's water polo team. Well, that's it for this edition of Terrier Nation. I'm Frank Stanfield. And I'm Adam Maldonado. Thanks for watching.